Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect once again. In the previous episode, we spent a lot of time, I wouldn't call it beautifying the prison, but mainly just taking off some of the rough edges. So we placed a lot of flooring, we tidied things up a bit, we added additional things in, say like the staff room and such, so it's a little bit better and just generally made it... It, we just improved on uh, what we had because it was really starting to uh, get a little bit annoying. So once we've done all of that, we sort of were focusing on other things. And um, what we'll be doing this episode is going for the building over here. So originally this was um, sort of along like that and then down. Hang on, let me just use the wall planning tool. Something like... That's still not the wall planning tool. There we go. Get there in the end. So there's something like this where we have sort of solitary here. This was all solitary. And then we had like a... A bit on the left, which was going to be uh, protective custody, and then a common room here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of all of that and just have it the same plot, so the same uh, foundation, but we'll change that entirely because this common room here is doing most of what we need. So we'll be adding more in there, probably a couple more pool tables, maybe some more televisions on the other side, or something like that. And then what we want to do is focus mainly on the protective custody and solitary around here, and whatever's left, that'll become an extra common room. So I'm not going to worry about the common room being. A specific size because quite frankly we're okay with what we've got remember we have our phone booths in the canteen we have our yard with all of the weight benches in it like that and then in the um, dormitories we have um, reading and uh, we have like uh, books and then we have a library for for that as well so we're fulfilling a lot of needs anyway by doing all that so I don't really need to worry too much so let's go over here um, and I want protective custody and I want it to be probably four four by four maybe so let's just roughly roughly work out what that would be. Um, four by four would be that. So that's that would be the the rooms there. So yeah, internal of four by four. And then we've got a fairly bigger room here, which is five by whatever. And that's okay because if we have these like so, this uh, area here, this can be our um, this can be our. I can't remember what it's called now. Security office, where we can do um, searches, where we can talk to people and snitch stuff. We have another entrance here, which comes down, and this can be a solitary area. That actually works out quite well. So let's work on that principle. So if we had solitary like this, would it work out? It would not work out. What if we had it like that? Um, we could do that. We could do something like that. And then uh, just sort of have it as like a area like that. I mean, we don't need it. Uh, could have like that. Let's work on the principle. We're going to have one on the other side as well. And then finally, that. Like that. And that would be enough solitary, and it would be probably enough for a common room here. Looks about right, doesn't it? Right, max speed it out. No funds for the foundation, or rather, not enough funds for the foundation. So. What we'll do, we'll max it out, and um, we'll just crack on with that. Ooh, that tree is a bit close to that fence. I'm hoping that doesn't demolish anything. Hmm. Uh, obviously, a lot of people working in the workshop, which is good. Also, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of these getting triggered as well, the gates. Do we have a patrol in here? Uh, we do have a patrol. It looks like they are actually going... Uh, no, they're not. They're not. Um, guard patrols. Uh, we want to put them to go around like that. Rather than through, because <laughs> it doesn't make much sense. Yeah, we've got a lot of people working here, making license plates and such, which is going to give us a nice amount. We also have some logs there and people making the uh, the advanced. Uh, I think it's beds, isn't it? Yeah, the carpenter tables. You make uh, superior beds, which I think you can place or you can sell them. It's a bit of a. It's something that hasn't really been expanded on. You'd think uh, it could, you could go further with that one. And indeed, at some point, they might, you know, that uh, we generally get a couple of decent updates a year these days when it comes to this. Generally, uh, around the summer sales, either the steam, winter, or summer sales. <laughs> That's generally when the updates drop. So anyway, a lot of uh, money's going out because of we, uh, basically because of we're, we're buying in materials. I mean, look at all these materials here that's uh, been brought in. These are all snacks and such for the, for the, um, for the canteen, which, uh, the staff canteen, which I'm happy to say does actually function now. It doesn't have that bug where the trays were going down. That was annoying. The problem we have is that we don't really, we're not really unloading the trucks because there's nowhere for them to unload. So what I'm going to do is pause it a second. I'm going to go over to rooms and then garbage. That's far, uh, garbage. There we go. And we'll get rid of the garbage like that. 
And we'll put the garbage down here. It doesn't really matter. Actually, you know, I'll get rid of exports as well. And I'll put that further down. But what I really need to do is expand the imports. Uh, it's not even called imports. It is called... Uh, I really can't remember. Deliveries. There we go. So deliveries can be expanded like that, you see. In fact, deliveries should be right in front of the... I did it right in front of the bit here. So there we go. There's that. I will then put our exports. Exports can go down down here. And garbage because it loads. That can be just here. I because I don't because we'll be transferring a lot out of the prison. I don't want them to have to walk all the way down for garbage and then back up. Export is sort of the same, but uh, I guess it's not really as bad. Anyway, actually, export should be should be above, shouldn't it? Export. Now that I think about it, exports. Get rid of that. Because when you think about it, the truck will stop, it'll load up, and then it's job done. So yeah, I think that's about right. Anyway, so the cracking on with that. We've still got work time. Um, if I want to sell those, to say uh, we can, can we go to sell object? Yeah, you can sell. You can sell all of the, all of license plates manually like that, <laughs> and we'll get a, a decent amount of money that way. We are. How are we doing for the logging? Logging's all right, as you can see. We are slowly. Oh, there you go. They're all popping up all the trees. Yeah, so we're slowly getting rid of all of these as we progress on. That's fine. We have three grants, uh, none of which we are in any... I guess we're in a dire need of completing them, but not real... I don't think we're very close to completing them, although uh, 10 superior beds doesn't say how many we've done. Probably, well, no percentage there, so probably none at all. But we've got the uh, Reform Through Education Initiative, which I'm guessing we are on... Does it tell me? Does it tell me what level we're on for that one. So foundation in general. General we're on 10 places, 10 sessions. We probably started that a couple of days ago. So yeah, we'll probably be about halfway there I reckon. Anyway, foundation building brick and we will build our solitary slash whatever area you would like to call us. Our entrance way will be a large jail door here which will go like connect straight up to it by there. That's fine. There's some more ODs. We still keep getting those and it's uh, it's fairly, it's not an epidemic proportions, but I mean it's a, t a lot more than you would want. Um, most of it I'm guessing is being flung in. Stolen, stolen, stolen. Brought in, brought in. Uh, stolen, which didn't take long. A hacksaw <laughs> got, went from there to there because of our metal detectors. Yeah, interesting. Let's do a full shakedown here. And we'll see if we can find something. This is where I really like the uh, one of the wardens. I can't remember um, uh, what she's called, the warden. But she has an ability where she gets a certain amount of money per piece of contraband found. So for every item of contraband you find, you, uh, <laughs> you will, uh, yeah get a nice bit of money. So it, it can actually add up really, really quickly. The reason we're not building that, by the way, is because most of the... Uh, was that a tunnel? Yeah, tunnel. The tunnel from there to there. Not very far at all. The reason they're not um, they're not going very far is because mainly they're trapped at the door, but also they're moving things from like one side to the other. So having to shift stuff around. But they are now just starting to uh, construct there. I guess not my door opener is uh, probably something we should go for eventually. Looks like we found some digging tools there and we found it in the, near the toilet so that's probably another sign of something going on around here. But we'll see. Still doing the search even though it is uh, daytime danger level is flying up. A lot of people saying they've been unnecessarily searched recently which is a bit of a problem but uh, hey ho. You can see the delivery truck goes as, goes as far down as it can and then uh, drops it off at the edge there. So... Yeah, I'm going to wait until this is done, and nah, it's, it's probably going to be on that point now that it's going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. We won't ever finish it just because if you're doing searches in the daytime, people are walking through metal detectors and it's 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 triggering things and all sorts. So yeah, it's just probably not worth doing. There's some more. There's some more prisoners there. Just we'll see if they've got any traits that we should be aware of. Nothing. No. 
We also have, uh, um, in our needs, and just checking the, for the sleep need. Um, sleep, sleep, sleep. Hmm, that's fine. I altered the regime earlier to have a bit more free time, less sleep, and it does seem to be all right. It seems to be all right now. Okay, so we have this new area. If we go to our utilities, we can see that this one will be connected to the green here. So I'm going to run this along. I'm going to run the... Whoa. Uh -oh. Subsidence of the land has destroyed a section of our outer wall. You should have it repaired immediately. Yeah, that's, that's broken. Why is it always this? We've had a fire in here and now we've had... Bad case of subsidence. Oh well, I guess I'll fix that problem then. Uh, the question is, is it a foundation? I believe it still is, so we can just place that there. It does say out a wall. It isn't technically. Um, it's it's, it's the uh, it is a wall, and it is towards the outer part of the prison, but. It's not as if you would class it like this as the outer wall. So yeah, I mean, luckily, luckily it was a section that is behind the staff only areas. If it was say uh, this part, which can happen, then that would be all kinds of bad. <laughs> it would not go down terribly well, quite frankly. Anyway, how are we doing for work? Uh, work's probably going on all right. You can see the money now is eight grand, just because of the, I'm guessing the amount of, amount of stuff we're, we're selling now when it comes to the, the, all the license plates and such. We probably need some more more workers actually too to bring stuff um, out. So, uh, one, two, three. I don't know why we had nine. That was an interesting number. Anyway, I'm going to focus on that one there and say clean that one up. So, we're going to run our electrical cable like we uh, did before. This has all been ordered here. But we're going to have it run from there along and... We spent one and a half grand on trees. Yes, I think we have. That's one of the things about the forestry. It can fluctuate quite a bit. Also, that door was open. Uh, you can see these um, workers here. They're not even workers. They are. That's a low risk prisoner there. It's storing the log in the table. This is set to staff only. So what happens is they go in here, um, the the uh, the gardeners and the uh, workers, and they will plant. They will chop the trees down. That sort of thing. And then they'll head off. Um, now, technically, this. I don't know if this can be. I don't know if you can assign people to work there. No, you can't. But if that's open, so non, so it's um, it's not it's not staff only. So if it's open to anybody, then the uh, people working the workshop will go there and bring the logs back. And that's what I want to do sooner rather than later. It's just at the moment I really don't want to open it up to them because we need metal detectors because you can steal tools from there. So I mean, actually, you know what? It probably wouldn't matter that much. Let's just go to share and let's just see what the what uh, what happens there. The thing is, if they go and take tools, they're going to have to go through these metal detectors and their own metal detectors going back in there. So I'm going to find it somehow. It's going to be found. So we don't really need it there. Same as putting them around here. These are, it's sort of a bit exceptional putting them around here, a bit over the top. Um, you don't need it around the workshop because as soon as they steal something, it gets detected, fair enough, right? That's good. However, if they come out, where are they going to go? Well, eventually they have to go in here for food or they have to go to sleep. So they're going to trip through one metal detector. And even if they trade it on, well, guess what? Whoever's going to get it is going to um, have that because they can only store it there. So it's not, this, if, not as if they're going to store it like in a corner somewhere and come back to it. So, yeah, I don't know if we'll... I don't know if I'll bother putting the metal text on there. I think I'll mainly focus on um, getting things like the electrical cable in around here. So we'll run the electrical cable along there and then down to there. Um, probably uh, run it along like so. And then we know that all of this will be powered up. And then we can go down from there. So all of the walls we will place. Now I'm probably going to design one of these cells. And then work on the others. Um... Where do I want the entrance? Well, typically you have the entrance like that. You have it staggered, just so you can put stuff in the corner. Good rule of thumb, really. So we'll do the t we'll we'll do a top and bottom, and then we'll focus on the rest. Ah, just out of money, just as I uh, have two more walls to build. It's okay, we can handle that. There's a bit more cash. Not enough cash to do that though. 
Staff meals is being paid for. Oh, yeah. Hmm. There we go. And that's enough to do that. So that was our exports there. Obviously, a lot more exports to take out. I mean, look at all this. All, all these need to be moved out. This is why you can have a area, say, around here and have that as um, prisoner access so anyone can go there. It means that... It means that the people working in the workshop will be able to take it there. It might be worth doing that. It might be worth making an extra section here and having that as just the exports. The reason I'm not doing it at the moment is because we'll need um, either an extra two guard station there, which becomes a problem, or we have automatic door openers. We don't have automatic door openers, so that's not going to happen. I'll just go down to uh, remove tunnels and remove this tunnel there. I know I forgot about it, but uh, there you go. We're cracking on with that. And then once that's removed, we'll uh, focus on this. We're still waiting for the uh, workers to crack on. We're one, two, three, four more workers there. So we've got 16. Probably, the, I think that is the most we've had in this series so far. It's just um, the inevitability of having this, what we have here. Just the amount of people that uh, we have working and such. And all of the exports. There you go. See the exports? They're moving out. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So this truck that came along, this is a delivery truck, supply truck. It came along, it stopped here, look, it's stopping at exports, right? It's loading stuff on, and then it continues on to there, and I think it does the same for garbage. No, it's not doing the same for garbage. I wonder if it does there. So it's going to load the exports, there's the exports. Going to go down. Yeah, it's going to unload garbage, and then it's going to go down and do that. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That is interesting. Hmm. I wonder if the deliveries, then, is staggered so that we can fill it up. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was wondering if the... Say if you had ten deliveries and you can fit I believe eight on the back it would send it into a group of five and a group of five if there was five on here as well so it would make sure it would always be filled at any one stage but it doesn't it just does what it can anyway interesting that though don't think I've ever witnessed that before nice anyway um, I did mention about the uh, this visitation room here I am eventually probably gonna do what I said and chop chop it right down and make it so that one section is for high risk only and they don't have the um, the contact, whereas the other ones do. I think it's just probably just a decent idea. Still haven't got metal detectors in here either, but again, don't really need it. Don't really need it. Um, are the uh, work though? The workers are going in here, but are the are the people from there? Oh yes, they are. Look, can you see they're coming along there? So that's a that's a worker there. It says move along, to, move to forestry, move log from forestry. So it's going to come along, pick up those logs. Oh no, and then <laughs> the work. Yeah, the workers do it instead. Oh well, fair enough. Right, so we got all this uh, room done here, all this uh, built up here. So what I'm going to do is go for a brick wall and we'll brick all of this off. And this is going to be our solitary. And then we will probably go ahead and run out of cash, which seems to be a common theme. Although once we get one of these grants done, we'll get a big chunk. I'm hoping that in the next couple of days we'll get that education, uh, reform through education initiative done. It would be nice to get that completed. I mean if I want money quick you just got to sell object and go like that and I don't I don't think you get the same amount but I could be wrong about that one. It wouldn't make much sense you getting the same amount because quite frankly then you know just doing it like that manually yeah uh, why would you why would you ever not? I know you get a different amount from processed and unprocessed logs so if you have these sawn up like you can see there that stack of wood that sale price is 400 uh, whereas the stack of logs I believe is about 200 250 might even be less um, can we see uh, that's two logs is a hundred yeah so each logs 50 but when you've sawn it up it's um oh hang on is it the same amount because there's eight there yeah might be anyway um, so that's sale price. Yeah, you get a, you get more numbers, the number plates stacked on you. Yeah, we could sell that manually at some point. Right, so this is all now put in. What I'm going to do is go over to probably deployment. 
damn it. Okay, I'll have to put the... Well, to be fair, I should have really put them in first. So, solitary door there, solitary door there. And... Four, five, six. And... Damn it, just one door off. But we're trying to make all of the solitary. I don't think we'll get it all done. We'll have that as security. There's some more stuff found. Yeah, That's fine. And once that's done, we'll be able to designate it all. Might as well designate it now. So there's your solitary. We also want security. And then all these are cells. But the cells that we're going to make are going to be 4x4. Four four. They'll have pretty much everything in them that they can, including showers. And then we will put a permanent punishment on. But sadly, oh, prison grade is down to 40%, which is good. And it looks like reform is up. I think reform is 2 before. And health was minus 2. So, yeah, if that's improved, that's good. Um, yeah, we need, we need legal and we need permanent punishments. But that's uh, quite a bit of cash. So... That's going to be a futurist problem. So I think we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we'll go ahead and we will redesignate our policy stuff because we need to change it. So if you attack people, then you get solitary. Start putting some solitary in there. That'll increase our punishment rating and hopefully the reform rating as well in some cases. So yeah, that's uh, hopefully what we'll do. And also get up this protective custody area. Hope you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Comment in the comments section. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.